from easing treatment for cancer patients and monitoring infant breathing to image-guided procedures, from restoring motor function in people who've been injured to creating new materials that work better with your body. For 40 years, Case Western Reserve University Biomedical Engineering has been on the forefront of creating new technologies you rely on. Pioneers at Case Institute of Technology were thinking beyond the possible, even before the official birth of the department. What we had then was just an incredible experience because I was working on people, I was working in research that involved living systems. It just fostered an environment that nurtured creativity and trying your wings. Early biomedical successes at CIT set the stage for future innovations and to the founding of the Department of Biomedical Engineering at Case Western Reserve University, jointly sponsored by the Schools of Engineering and Medicine. At that time, there were very few programs uh, in uh, uh, biomedical engineering, and uh, Case uh, did biomedical engineering right. After its founding, the department took a giant leap forward when faculty collaborated to form one of the nation's first bachelor's programs in biomedical engineering, charting the course for other universities. The early developers of the undergraduate curriculum had the foresight to incorporate rigorous engineering expectations with distinct research areas that have come together through the years to produce major biomedical breakthroughs. How do you restore the function and independence of people with paralysis? And that's what we've been able to do with FES, is bring together many areas of engineering, many fields of the sciences, to apply to this biomedical engineering problem of paralysis. I was hurt in a diving accident in 1992. Uh, I was exposed to a little bit of the FES uh, muscle stimulation and when I was first in the hospital. I was told about this hand procedure that could be done. It's opened up a whole new world. Independence is just the biggest thing. Um, you know, being able to feed myself, being able to brush my own teeth, shave. It's just all about quality of life. It's unmeasurable. Putting new biomedical devices into the body presents engineering challenges that are solved by collaborating across different disciplines within the field of biomedical engineering. How do we get the electrodes to interact properly with the body? And that's a materials problem. We're becoming the glue that holds the rest of the field together through the study of the materials and their interaction with the body. The ultimate goal of all biomedical engineering research is to improve patient lives, and that means bringing discoveries out of the lab and into the market. With the help of Case Western Reserve's partnership with the Wallace H. Coulter Foundation, the Biomedical Engineering Department is helping to expedite the pace to bring discoveries to you. At the FDA, one of the things that we can observe about Case Western's program, its graduates, is that they have a good foundation in both the sciences, engineering, and the medical aspects. This sets them up well to do the kind of work that we're looking for in terms of technology transfer, um, bringing medical devices to market, and ultimately helping the public health. Biomedical engineering graduates from Case Western Reserve are considered among the best and brightest in the field. What you were taught at the graduate level years ago is now being taught at the undergraduate level. Consequently, the students come out with a much more sophisticated understanding, not only of engineering, but its application to um, biomedical problems. Engineering has long been a problem-solving discipline. And the problems are perhaps getting more complex. Johnson & Johnson looks to Case Western Reserve University for uh, the next form of science and technology, but also for the, the talent of its graduates to help us identify and develop those technologies that are going to be the new platforms for healthcare going forward. Case Western Reserve's close proximity to world-class medical institutions offers an energetic environment, yielding great advances for researchers and students. I really like everybody to know what a great education I got here at Case Western Reserve University. I think it's preparing me well for my future steps. We're actually able to see the work in our lab translate and impact human health. Whether exploring new treatments for cancer, advancing imaging technology, or creating new drug delivery systems, Case Western Reserve is engineering better health by thinking beyond the possible. The impossible today is sort of the 
the probable or possible of tomorrow. And so that's really what I think this department is, has always been geared toward, is trying to define what patient care, what engineering products, what uh, new technologies or discovery, how they're going to shape what the field looks like a decade from now.